This is a paleo campsite. And you can see the sunshine. It's one of the first places that gets sun through a notch in the mountains off to our uh, left. But I came up here one time and the reindeers were up on the road as I came by and, and I said, hey, are, is there a fire down there? Because they're all shovels. And they said, no. And I said, are you archaeologists? And they said, they all looked at their shoes, quite frankly. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, if I was a paleo, I would go to this spot right above where the big pool is because that's where the trout end because there's a barrier there. And uh, it's also the first place to get sun in the morning. <laughs> and the lead guy of the team looks up at me and goes, well, great campsites have been great campsites for 5,000 years. And I said, hey, I, uh, can I help? I'm a volunteer. And they, they said, come back tomorrow. So I came back the next day and helped them. And they sifted a bunch of places. They uh, annotated a whole bunch of flakes and things like that from uh, Paleo times. Uh, found two points, as a matter of fact. And then they took them, which I thought was wrong. I thought they should leave them right where they are. But anyway, this is an ancient Paleo site. I love to come by here and think about those people that were walking this ground 5,000 years ago. Amazing people. Here's the pool I was talking about. And there's usually a number of brook trout in there. And this, this is the barrier that really prevents them from living in the stream up above. Somehow there's some up there, but they're all small. But this pool holds uh, some decent sized brook trout. Although brook trout wouldn't have lived here, in paleo times, the only fish in Colorado then was uh, cutthroats. A favorite spot for lunch.